Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the global semiconductor industry, ASML, a Dutch manufacturer of advanced semiconductor material lithography machines, is undoubtedly a pivotal role. However, ASML's recent decision to open a maintenance center in Beijing has not only attracted widespread attention from the industry, but also allowed China to see the delicate balance of this European giant in the global market. Foreign media have also said, ASML of the Netherlands suddenly changed its words. The cause of the incident was that ASML announced plans to open a new reuse and maintenance center in Beijing when it released its 2024 annual report. The news spread quickly and sparked heated discussions in the media and the industry. However, not long after, ASML suddenly changed its words, saying that the plan was not to build a new maintenance center, but to upgrade and expand it on the original basis. This reversal surprised many people and also triggered more speculation and interpretation. First of all, China needs to make it clear that ASML's position in the mainland market is very important. As a leading company in the field of lithography machines, ASML's products enjoy a very high reputation worldwide. The mainland market, as an important part of the global semiconductor industry, is even more indispensable to ASML. According to ASML's financial report data, the revenue share of the mainland market in 2024 is as high as 36.1%, far ahead of other regions. This data fully demonstrates the importance of the mainland market to ASML. However, despite the importance of the mainland market to ASML, ASML still needs to consider many factors when making decisions. Among them, the positions of the United States and the Netherlands are an important link that cannot be ignored. In recent years, the United States has continuously strengthened export controls to restrict the outflow of advanced technologies, especially for emerging markets, such as mainland China. And the Netherlands, as the location of ASML, has also been influenced and pressured by the United States to a certain extent. In this context, ASML has to be more cautious in making decisions. On the one hand, ASML needs to maintain its position and interests in the mainland market. On the other hand, ASML also needs to consider the positions and attitudes of the United States and the Netherlands. Therefore, after announcing that it would open a new maintenance center in Beijing, ASML may have realized the sensitivity and controversy that this decision might cause. So it chose to change its words and change the plan to upgrade and expand on the original basis. Behind this change of words, it actually reflects the delicate balance of ASML in the global market. On the one hand, ASML needs to maintain close contact and cooperation with the mainland market to meet the huge demand for lithography machines in the mainland market. On the other hand, ASML also needs to maintain good relations with the United States and the Netherlands to avoid risks and legal risks caused by technology outflow and other issues. It is worth noting that ASML did not completely deny the plan to open a maintenance center in Beijing when it changed its words. On the contrary, ASML stated that it would upgrade and expand on the original basis to better serve customers in the mainland market. This statement is actually sending a positive signal to the mainland market. ASML still attaches importance to the mainland market and will continue to provide high-quality services 
and support to customers in the mainland market. In addition, ASML also clearly stated in its financial report that it will be committed to serving the world's second largest economy, mainland China. This statement further demonstrates ASML's emphasis on and commitment to the mainland market. In this context, the deep meaning behind ASML's change of words is not difficult to understand. ASML needs to maintain close contact with the mainland market while maintaining good relations with the United States and the Netherlands to achieve its own sustainable development in the global market. Of course, the reasons for ASML's change of words are not limited to this. Against the backdrop of the continued tension in the global chip situation, ASML is also facing tremendous market and competitive pressure. On the one hand, global chip demand continues to grow, while production capacity is relatively insufficient. On the other hand, competitors are also constantly strengthening their R&D and production capabilities in an attempt to seize more market share. Against this backdrop, ASML needs to consider its own market strategy and decision-making more carefully. In addition, the U.S. lithography market is also an important market that cannot be ignored by ASML. Although the U.S. lithography market is relatively small, it still contributes considerable revenue to ASML. Moreover, the United States is now actively promoting its wafer fab expansion plan, and demand for lithography machines may further increase in the future. Therefore, ASML also needs to consider the needs and interests of the U.S. market when making decisions. In summary, ASML's change of tone actually reflects the delicate balance of this European giant in the global market. ASML needs to maintain close ties with the mainland market while maintaining good relations with the United States and the Netherlands. It needs to consider its own sustainable development and maximization of interests while dealing with market pressure and competitive pressure. Against this backdrop, ASML's change of tone is not difficult to understand. For China, this incident should show the complexity and variability of the global semiconductor industry, as well as the competition and cooperation among countries and regions in this industry.